The process of the muscle contraction begins at the neuromuscular junction, called the synapsis. A synaptic cleft separates the axon from the muscle fiber. An action potential travels down the cell membrane of an axon. It's its electrical signal. Calcium channels open up and allow calcium to flow inside and push the synaptic vesicles down to the synaptic knob. Synaptic vesicles are filled with acetylcholine. When the vesicle reaches the end, they fuse with the cell membrane and, re and release acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. This is a chemical signal. Acetylcholine binds with the acetylcholine receptors on the motor end plate of the muscle fiber. Sodium-potassium channels open and allow sodium ions to flow in. This causes depolarization and an action travels across the sarcolemma down the T tubercles. Calcium is sequestered by the calcium and the terminal cisterna of the sarcoplasm reticulum, reticulum. After calcium is released, it pours over the filaments and binds to troponin. This pulls the myosin, tropomyosin cover off the active site. The active site is located on the actin and is now exposed. The myosin head is in high energy state and attaches itself to the active site. This forms a cross bridge. As the myosin head bends, it moves to a low energy state, releasing a DP, and moves the thin, thin filament along. ATP is produced inside a mitochondria. When ATP attaches to the myosin head, it releases the active site. ATP converts to ADP and the myosin head stretches out and goes back into high energy state. Calcium gets pumped back into the sarcoplasm reticulum. The tropomyosin covers the active site again. This ends the process of the, of the muscle and it relaxes. A whole muscle is made of bundles of fascicles. Fascicles are made of muscle cells called myofibers. The myofibers are made of myofibrils. A psychomere is a highly ordered unit of thick and thin filaments and is the site of the muscle contraction. Thick filaments make up the A-band. Under the microscope, they may look dark. Thin filaments make up the I-band. Thin filaments attach at both ends of the psychomere to form the Z-disc. There are no overlapping thin bands at the H-band. Acetylcholesterase is the enzyme that breaks down the acetylcholine and puts it back into the vesicle. Finishing the muscle contraction.